Yeah, hey, seriously, uh, your uh, your YouTube channel is not very old, right? Like, uh, I try to look back and sift through, and I'm thinking, like, man, Derek's been around for a little while, and I'm then I'm like, oh, he kind of has been in for a little while, but maybe it was more on Instagram, and maybe it was six more... years almost. Okay, yeah. and your but your YouTube channel is only like two or three years old, maybe six years. Did you delete oh, old is. videos okay. or something? Huh? Did, did like you couldn't find videos from? No, six I years watch. Ago? I watched some of the older you videos. You can on this sort channel, by but... old now on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's boomer shit. I don't, you just yeah, didn't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where where did it first start with you? Um, and what was uh, like? What was some of the reasons why you were putting out content on YouTube or wherever else you were putting it? Um, so for me, I just had some time on my hands and started writing blog articles. And for me, when I started writing those, it was based on a lot of the stuff I was interested in at the time. Like I was following some of the male self improvement channels and blogs more so at the time because that was what was most prevalent for. I don't know. The people who were the most influential at the time actually had like really big blogs, not mm -hmm. YouTube channels, mm -hmm. which is interesting. So, so back then I followed certain individuals. What that, year? What years was the bl blog thing? Sorry if I missed. 2012, I, maybe. I followed them from like 2012 to 2016. Yeah, th I remember that time where like blogs were everything, like Tim Ferriss and shit. Yeah, yeah, sort of. Okay. Yeah, I didn't follow him specifically, but yeah, in that mm -hmm. kind of like realm, he was more like. I don't know. I guess I don't follow him closely enough to say what he does, but mm -hmm. my perception was more on like the biohacking side of things and like really, really fringe stuff potentially. Yeah. It was and tough I, to find that information hard. Yeah. Right? And I wasn't really into entrepreneurial stuff at that time yet. Mm -hmm. So it was more just like, how do I, you know, gain muscle, lose fat, dress better, um, get girls, speak more fluently in social interactions, et cetera. So stuff like that I was interested in and I found myself going down rabbit holes and you know being uh you know on forums and stuff with other guys who kind of had similar aligned interests and eventually i had what i felt to be enough experience to start writing about my trials and tribulations of doing the same thing and then i started my blog and it was basically just as far as how it came to be i was just looking for you know names at the time that sort of represented what i was sort of interested in or what the brand overarchingly could be summarized as so it was like lifting stuff you know lifting getting jacked you know getting lean um lifestyle you know dating self-improvement so it's sort of just one of the urls that was available was more plates more dates and it sounded you know rhyme it rhymed i thought it would be memorable <laughs> and it is yeah and um at the time there was like a i guess there might be now as well but at the time it was just the people i followed had these names that were you know rhyming or i don't know somewhat gimmicky or whatever like i don't really know how to represent it but stuff that was memorable and kind of just like cumulatively summed up what they do like one of the channels i caught i followed was a good looking loser and then there was bold and determined <laughs> danger and play like some of these things that were just like catchy you know brand names i guess so i just came up with that ran with it and then eventually um after writing some blog articles one of those guys actually recommended I film videos with it. I was like, should I film on YouTube too? And they said, fuck yeah, of course you should. Similar mm. to Gary Vee says, mm -hmm. publish everywhere, million times a day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so anyway, at the time, I basically just repurposed my written articles and would read them essentially on YouTube. And then eventually it got to the point where I was better at talking than writing as far as a time efficiency standpoint. And mm. it also just didn't come across as organic reading off of your screen. So I sort of transitioned away from writing and then it turned more into this just mainly focusing on YouTube and the other video based platforms. And then that's kind of how it came to be. And it sort of just took off from there, but it was slow. It's not like it took off. It was like many years before it took off, took off. What's up, Pat Project family? It's time to stop dressing like you're a fucking preschooler and step your game up by checking out Viore clothing. Now, I'm not one to talk. I wear a fucking pink hat that has a dog on it, but at the end of the day, at least my shirt and shorts are popping. So head to Viore because they have great stuff for your top and your bottom. Andrew, how can they get it? Yes, you guys got to head over to viore.com slash power project. That's V U O R I dot com slash power project and you guys will automatically receive 20 percent off your order links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes let's get back to the podcast and i think some of the stuff you were talking about early on is stuff that was kind of hard for people to find without digging through a blog or a thread mm -hmm. you had to kind of continually dig 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 and then you found out oh this guy actually knows his shit it seems like he knows a ton especially when it came to uh like pharmaceuticals or something like that you would see that someone clearly knows uh, occasionally you might see, uh, somebody that was, that really knew a lot about training, hypertrophy or strength training and you're like, holy shit. But you had to like really dig deep 
mm-hmm. uh, a couple years back to try to find this information. And I remember some of your videos where you talked about uh, male pattern baldness, mm-hmm. uh, erectile dysfunction, acne. Like you brought a lot of these things. Uh, it's not like no one was talking about them, but you brought a lot of these things to the forefront, which I think is awesome because you highlighted um, you highlighted an area where it's like there's a lot of men that are trying for self improvement, but for some reason, especially if it comes to like looks, we get yeah. weird about trying yeah. to like ask your bro, ask your buddy, like, dude, how can I like look a little bit better? I get, like you can't just say that to your friend for some reason. I want to look a little bit better yeah. tomorrow. I got a date. Like Whoa, some reason guys would get that. shamed for like <laughs> hair loss stuff. Like, oh, you're just go bald. Like, why do you oh, care yeah. so much? Or no, I would honest to God, dude, I it's so wild to me. Uh, I definitely am like feeling like the hair recede back on me and like (laughs) my comfort, (laughs) my comfort in talking with my friends and uh, just like feels heard right now. And just, just other people (laughs) like with talking about it has like skyrocketed. (laughs) And honest to God, I think you changed that. Just like being like it, you, you never were like, uh, shame and any of that never came into the, to the conversation. You were just like, here's what works. You know, finasteride, derma rolling, uh, minoxidil. Here's the shampoo I use. Here's what I use for this, this, and this. And like your comment section was everyone being like, I fucking love that we just are just talking about this. Like balding is not a bad thing. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like how getting making fun of someone for balding is like r- honestly ridiculous because it's not their choice it's like it's not like the, it's not like they have it's a the bad same l- thing with snoring mm-hmm. as well you know snoring people get it like really made fun of and teased a lot about snoring and and sometimes it has to do with uh, body weight but sometimes this has to do with like you just train hard you lift a lot i mean they don't really know what the exact uh, thing is for sleep apnea at least as far as i know they don't know exactly what causes it so yeah. there's a lot of these things that they're like medical and it's like man that's like uh, you just like picking on me, like, yeah. you're making fun of me, and I, I don't have no control over this. And and Derek like just openly talking about it, I thought it was really cool. Another thing too, like you told us a story. It was like you told me and Chris at dinner the story about cologne and when you were a bouncer and you uh, were like you were like testing colognes. Yeah. What was? <laughs> oh, so you were a bouncer though. You have some nice yeah, cologne on before, today. Before before. Uh, oh, trying to work. Oh, oh, you you think I have nice cologne? Yeah. It's actually his. Oh, yeah, it's hey. his brand. Oh, there we go. Oh, you have a brand of cologne? Yeah. 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 Sick. Yeah. It's really good. What's it it called? It has some endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruptors, but I'll send it to you. (laughs) No lavender, right? Oh, it does. Okay, good. You got to smell smell it. All right, get get it. Yeah, yeah. You got to sniff this guy. (laughs) I'm always representing you. So this is going to... this is going to make my estrogen go through That's the roof? Nice. Uh, I don't think so, bro. You're on TRT. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> you can touch as many receipts as you want. Yeah. Is people, Mark, people but you just came out as emails? natural in our last episode. Yeah, you're natty. You yeah, said yeah, you were lying yeah. about the TRT. I the lied time. to my brother. I lied on Bigger, Stronger, Faster. I've been uh, natural the entire time. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn. So, just another charlatan. What was that story? Because that, that was, I thought that was amazing. Chris, Punder tree? Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> story. What was the Whoa. story? Hey, I know you guys enjoyed the video, so like, comment, subscribe, and head to the Power Project Discord below. Talk to y'all later.